This Sunday, April 18, hundreds of exotic cars are on display on the West Palm Beach waterfront. It's the grand finale of the 11th annual Supercar Week show. Lamborghinis, Ferraris, Maseratis, muscle cars, and even military carriers are all in one place. Here's Howard Dean, one of the organizers of the event. My brother Neil Lund is the producer. I'm the director of Green Street. We saw electric cars, hybrids. Yeah, we kind of inherited this uh, car show. We were the marketers. And then the city said, well, why don't you guys continue it? And so we opened it up as a free event with the city. But today we have some of our uh, luxury and exotic classic cars here. This is a 73 Excalibur. We got it from a family in, uh, in Boca. It was in the store. They had it for 30 years. Yeah. So it's still drivable, right? You can... Yeah, oh, it drives, yeah. It starts up, you want me to hear it? Want to hear it? I would love that. Yeah. For someone uninitiated like me, Excalibur is neither legendary sword of King Arthur nor a hotel in Las Vegas. It's a car designed to look vintage, based on Mercedes-Benz model of the 1920s. Excalibur Phaeton. The price tag is just over $33,000. The highlight of the event for me is meeting Elaine Larson, a two-time world champion dragster driver. What exactly is a dragster? So this is part race car, part jet airplane, wow. and we take an airplane engine out of a jet and we put it in my race car. The best part that we do is that we use girl power. So I've got my crew chief, Logan Ashline, Hi. here, and then I've got my driver in training, Josette Rose. Josette's yeah. learning to get her jet car license. Wow. These cars are amazing. They go zero to 100 in a second, zero to 280 miles an hour in only five and a half seconds. What I love most is that this industry is mostly male dominated, but I'm giving these young ladies the opportunity to get into this world and show those boys what we're made of. Your background? My background, believe it or not, is in business and childcare. Um, not at all racing. I was not that young daredevil growing up. These two girls are. Um, she's only 21 and she's 26. And if I would have been like them when I was that age, I don't know where it would have been. But I was just a farm girl from Michigan. Um, born on a farm, raised up on a farm but uh, met my husband and he gave me that inner confidence and then I've just run with it. Now he doesn't know what to do with me. So how did you start racing? Um, I started racing just at the local track. Um, Palm Beach International Raceway is actually my home track where I learned to drive jets. I started getting better and better and started wanting to go faster and faster and so far my fastest speed is 336 miles an hour in only six seconds. Thank you so much. I've asked Elaine to demonstrate how to get into the drugster. And in you go. It's a little tight here, right? It's very tight. It's custom made for me, but this is my office. This is where I go to work. This is where I feel most at home. When I'm in here, I know that I'm invincible. I know that I can go 280 miles an hour in just a blink of an eye and not even worry about it. I have a hand throttle, I have a parachute, and I have a steering wheel. too want to be a jet car driver just like Logan and Josette. Maybe one day. One day. I feel like you would fit in here just fine. I guess there is hope Thank for me so after much. all. Yep. Believe in yourself. From West Palm Beach, I'm Jane Reeves.